another devotional. I'm Miss Hannah. I'm also Miss Hannah. <gasps> what? Same name. <laughs> so cool. So today we're going to be reading a devotional that's entitled, or that's titled Build Wisely. But first, Miss Hannah's going to share something with us. When I hear build wisely, it really reminds me of a story I used to love when I was a kid. And I actually still love it. I think it's really important in the message and I just love the story. Some of you have may, may have heard of it. It's called The Three Little Pigs. So in this story, there are three little pigs and they each try to build a house and they want it to stand strong. But a fox comes and he blows it down because he, want, he doesn't want them to have this house. And every time the house blows down, and so I wanted to try it today and do a different experiment to see what, if the house that I built would stand. Okay. So the first pig built his house out of straw. So I'm gonna, Miss Hannah is the house today, and I'm gonna build her out of straw. I'm ready. You guys will have to use your imagination. All right, my straw house is built. Hmm, do you guys think that she will blow over when I blow on her, or do you think she will stay up? We'll have to find out. Woo! Oh, it didn't take much to blow that house oh, over. No, I guess straw was not a good choice. That pig really knew what he was talking about. I guess I'll try what the second pig did, which was build his house out of sticks. My second house is built out of sticks. How many of you guys think that this house will stay up? Hmm, it might stay up longer than the other house, but we'll find out. Woo! The house did not stay up, but you know what? I think I know what will make a house stand. And I think if I use brick just like the third pig, I think my house will stand. Let's find out. Let's pretend Miss Hannah is a house again. for this house. All right, I'm going to say a quick prayer and then I'm going to build my last house because I think this house is going to be really strong. Dear God, will you please give this house your strength and give it a strong foundation and help me to build it. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, I'm going to build my last house. You ready, house? Ready. All right, my last house is built with the strength of God as its foundation. Do you guys think this one will stand? We'll find out. My house did not fall. Woohoo! Wow, it was the strength of God that was what I needed. It doesn't matter as much what materials I use. It matters that I have God's strength as my foundation. That's amazing to know. That was so cool, Hannah. I love that we get to learn from stories such as the three little pigs. They teach us so much, actually, about God. How cool is that? Yeah. And this reminds me so much of our devotional. Yeah. So let's start reading it. All right. Like a house, your life must be built on a strong and sure foundation. Make me that foundation. Be like the wise man who built his house on the rock. Build your life on me. When the winds of life blow, you will not be shaken. Matthew 7, 24 through 27. Everyone who hears these things, I, I say, and obeys them, is like a wise man. The wise man built his house on rock. It rained hard, and the waters rose. The winds blew, and it hit the house. But the house did not fall, because the house was built on rock. Psalm 40, verse 2. He lifted me out of the pit of destruction. Out of the sticky mud, he stood me on a rock. 
He made my feet steady. That's amazing. Don't try to build on popularity the things you own or even your own talents. These things will not last forever. Making them the foundation for your life would be like the foolish man building his house on sand. When the winds blow hard, a, heart, a life built on unstable, temporary things will fall with a great crash. Trying to live without me is useless. Useless. Remember, I never change or leave you. Yes, there will still be winds and storms, but I will help you stand strong. The key is to keep me before you always. Keep talking to me. Step by step, I will guide you. I will show you the right way to live. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 2. The teacher says, useless, useless, completely useless. All things are useless. Psalm 16 verse 8. I keep the Lord before me always, because he is close by my side, I will not be hurt. I love this devotional because it reminds us a lot about how every day we have the opportunity to build our life on God. It may seem easy to try and build our life on useless things, mm -hmm. such as popularity like Hannah said, or the opinions of others, or things that that pass away. But when we build on everlasting things such as the Word of God, on prayer, worship, those things, they last forever and they're so strong. This reminds me of a testimony we heard this week from one of you guys. One of our students at the Rock of Roseville told us that she actually built a place in her garage where we, she would go and meet with God. She set it up and she would go there and read her Bible and pray. And I think that's so important that we set aside a time, a place even, in our lives that we can go and connect with God. That will help us to build our foundation on Jesus and not on useless things like the author of Ecclesiastes was saying. So we would love to hear from you guys. What are some ways that you like to build your life on Jesus. Do you like to spend time in the morning praying um, when you first wake up? Or maybe you love to sing songs to God or read your Bible. I bet there are some creative ways that you like to connect with God. So feel free to comment below, email us, or go on our Facebook page and let us know how do you like to connect with God? Because we all are learning how to build our lives wisely. And so thank you guys for being with us and enjoying this devotional. Hope to see you on Wednesday for another Bible story. Bye. Bye.